Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, tonight is a late night pajama read my darlings. <laughs> I've got my favorite like really super duper soft luxurious like spa robe on. I love this thing man. It's, it's the most um, plush robe I've ever had. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, take a moment, get in your jammies. We're going to dig into uh, what's going on with your person behind the scenes, Cancers. <laughs> you know, why not? Why not? Let's, let's stir something up here, okay? All right, Cancers, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, especially if you're not wearing your pajamas, man. <laughs> Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you and you don't have your pajamas on, look, don't panic. It's all right. It's okay. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, hold on a second. Let me just close up my computer. Okay. All right. Sorry. That just made me uncomfortable. I don't know why, but it just did. Anyway, Cancers, my darlings, yeah, I wanted to do a late night read. Um, we're going to just do, you know, I, I normally I hate doing karmic reads, but I got to tell you, tonight, yeah, let's snoop, right? Um, just, hit, I'm going to have fun with it, okay? Uh, guys, uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because I'm telling you, I do some crazy stuff here. You don't want to miss it, okay? <laughs> Join the family, too, because everybody's really super great here. And thank you all so much for your, I mean, you, your support is just through the roof awesome. Thank you so much, Cancers. Oh, oh, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, listen, guys. <laughs> Well, first of all, you're in your empress energy, okay? I feel like you're very dreamy. I feel like you're very abundant. You could um, have a baby with you even. But you're taking care of like everything on your own here. And you're happy. I feel like you're by yourself. You're doing it all on your own. And you're good, man. You're good. You've got wish fulfillment coming to you here. And you're manifesting new beautiful things. This is your happiness here. Uh, I feel like you love being at home too. You know, you're every queen in the deck and you just, you, you're not going to waste your time or play any games with it. Or you're not going to let anyone play any games with you. Okay. Yeah. That's just how it goes. You know, meanwhile, somebody is watching you very envious. Okay. Green with envy. They could be watching your abundance or just watching your glow. But yeah, I feel like you're being watched and hardcore. Um, somebody's probably watching you at night on the computer. Just be very careful that you don't, you know, it says the hacker here, but I'm really thinking that they're probably just like, I don't know, under a made up name or some something, because really all they're doing is watching you. You look very happy, very abundant. You, you're you looking good, Cancer. You're looking good. But your person watching you, watching you and worrying about perhaps money um, and they could even be getting some kind of heart issue. Didn't I have that earlier in the read? Or was that a different read? I don't remember. But yeah, this person's worried about money, heart trouble. You know, I, they could have had a gambling issue. Or they could have just risked it all. You know, on, on a decision. Or decisions that they just didn't make ever. You know? And that alone is a risk when you when you you need to do something and you just keep putting it off or you ignore it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person kind of stabbed themselves here. 
They're feeling defeated in the situation. I feel financially. And they're looking at you with envy because you're not defeated. You're looking good. Okay? Yeah. They're, they're finding this very cruel cruelty. <laughs> cruelty. Because you're doing well. Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like this person, the longer they don't do something, right? Because in Hangman, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with any sign, okay? But yeah, in Hangman position, this person has been doing absolutely nothing. They know they need to speak to you, okay? But they want you to come to them. Look, you talk, <laughs> right? Because you haven't been talking. They stuck a sword in your back. You're not going to be doing the making up here. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Like I said, you don't waste your time or let anybody play any games with you. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah. You need to be approached correctly, too. Um, but yeah, this person, I feel like they're waiting for you to talk, and I don't feel like that's going to happen here. No. No, no. They're taking a huge gamble, a big risk, and I think they're losing it all. I think they know, they realize that now, that they should have spoke to you, and, and a, their own thoughts held them back from, t from telling you the truth and being honest. I feel it's their own thoughts. They, they just kept holding themselves back from communicating or cutting something out, you know, helping you take this sword out of your back. See, they gave you that sword when they stuck it in your back. You did nothing but offer them your love because the, the Queen of Swords, she comes from a very loving space. She's very much, to me, she's very much like um, the Queen of Cups, okay? I, I can totally compare her with the, king, the Queen of Cups because she's very loving, she's very kind, she's very gentle, she's very nurturing. But man, she was stabbed in the back and hurt so deeply or too many times. And, you know, she kept that sword. She kept it like a souvenir for the pain, right? And she, you know, she had to heal from that wound all by herself. So, like, I, I feel like you once gave this person your love. You were very loving, nurturing, kind, like the Queen of Cups. But this person, they betrayed you and hurt you so bad that you just refused to be hurt again. And you hold up, you know, normally you're holding up the sword. And you, you know, people know that they need to approach you with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, or you're gonna gonna cut them out of your world without batting an eyelash. I feel like these days you're not even paying attention to this person. I feel like they may have tried to get your attention. I think they may have tried to get your attention in an obscure kind of way, and maybe to get you to talk. They've got the mic ready for you here. They've got it ready. They're like, you, talk. And you're like, I'm not, no, uh-uh. You put this sword in my back. It, I, you're, look, it's not your responsibility to fix it, nor is it your responsibility to help your person when they haven't been helping themselves. And all they can do is watch you with envy while they worry about money. But while they're not doing anything besides watch you, money's falling out of this person's pockets because they're not doing anything. It's like a Dr. Seuss book, kind of. Takes you on a little... I used to read Dr. Seuss to my kids when they were younger. Oh my dear Lord, those books are so hard to read. And it's like one right after another. Huh? But yeah, this person, 
they're having a Dr. Seuss moment. You know, seriously, the more they watch you with envy, the more they lose their pentacles because they're not doing anything. And then the more they worry and then they watch you with envy. It's just they're, they, it's just defeat. When all they have to do is make some choices here, some actual choices, and speak their truth, communicate. But no, they just want to hang out here and let all the money fall out of their pocket. Money, cell phone, they lost their cell phone. Um, they lost credit cards here, falling out all their monies but it's just at everything they're losing everything not doing anything at all and expecting you to start this conversation and that's not happening and your person has to face that fact you are not going to play any games and they find this very cruel that you're not striking up the conversation you know, yeah, they, they feel like a fool here. They feel like a fool because, you know, they're watching you. You're glowing. You're growing. You're happy without them. You're every queen in the deck. You're independent, self-sufficient intuitive you know what I mean you're like everything here you've bossed up you've changed you're taking care of everything by yourself and you're happy and dreamy and manifesting your wishes are coming to you and your person all they're doing is losing yeah all they're doing is losing and watching you win they're feeling like a fool they are feeling like a fool. You know, they should have taken that leap of faith before. It could have led them to wealth, perhaps, because I feel like a person watching, you're headed towards your abundance. You know, if you haven't already started to notice, it's going to start coming in. Because you're in Empress energy, you know, and you worked for that. You're a person who has been, you've been through hell. And if, you know what? It was probably partially due to this person. They were one of the people who dragged you through hell, right? Now they see you glowing and growing and coming up and doing awesome and being happy without them. That's, you know, I think they're low-key angry about that. They don't, they don't like it. Yeah, I think they want to come in and try to use that wand on you, person watching. Because they're looking at your pentacles and your abundance. Yeah, they want to try to use this wand on you, possibly as the male phallic, in order to be intimate. Yeah. I think cuz they they want that abundance. They they need your abundance cuz they're losing everything here. Just crap is falling out of this person's pockets. You know, it's just falling right out. Yeah, I feel like it's time for your person to make a decision. I feel like they want to call a truce. You see everything that everything they've got is in ruin right now. It's in ruin. That's what it says at the bottom of the card, ruin. <laughs> and they want peace. They want to call a truce now with you. They want to make up. They want to make up this way with the wand, something possibly sexual. But remember, this person is worried about their finances. And they're envious of you. Doesn't that make them a bit volatile? 
You know what I mean? And they're they're fairly reckless because they, they they this person could even have a gambling issue because they uh, money has been just flowing out of their pockets. You could have a child with this person. Sorry. Yeah, and you're standing your ground, I feel. I feel like this is you standing in your power, the activist. There's that sword there. It's almost like you wear it like a badge now. Uh, you have a voice, too, now. Okay, and you stir things up with it, I feel, and you stand strong in your power. You speak the truth loud and clear. Because, you know what, you, you're wearing that pain like a badge of courage. And these people can clearly see it. You're forcing them to take a look at themselves and the way they treated you. Yeah, and you'll speak your truth and stand your ground and stick up for what you believe is right and fair. And you're not going to care who says what about it. Because you're an activist. And you're going to fight for what you believe is right. You know? Yeah, your person doesn't really want to, you know, it's hard for your person to make an approach like that because they know, yeah, and they go within. They've got to approach you somehow, but they don't know how. And you're in this sword's energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Very powerful, very strong, very willing to speak your truth loud and clear. She's got a freaking megaphone. <laughs> you know, come on. And, and your person knows that that truth isn't something that they want to hear, okay? It's not something that they want to hear. But, you know, at some point or another, they need to they need to face that music man they need to face the music it's your person just seems like in a very dark space until you get to this manipulation see they'll manipulate you by getting you into bed okay and you're like now nah. You're not. Yeah. I think your person has some personal attachments too to something in their past. Something dark. There's a dark shadow figure here behind this hermit. And I feel like they're just attached to something wherever they go they bring it along with them like a you know it's 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 like a bad memory or it's something painful that happened to them in the past something like that you know could have something to do with something that happened to them in the bedroom or something like that but that's not for everybody but yeah, it's like these issues from their past just keep follow them around because they really don't turn around and deal with them. This person, see how they're crouched over like they're hiding, trying to light that cigarette or whatever. And this shadow figure is back here. It's like a creature. They don't turn around and confront it. So, you know, they don't confront their issues. They don't confront their own issues, man. They don't take responsibility for their own stuff. All they can do is sit, all they want to do is sit and blame you. This is like blame. They sit here all envious while they watch you. Well, why are they envious? They're blaming you for being happy. But the Empress works for her happiness. You put in a lot of hard work for whatever happiness you're in right now. With all your abundance. Everything you've got. 
And what did your person do? Nothing. So they lost their money and now they're worried about it. Well, and so they still are blaming you. They're still angry and envious with about your abundance. This is ridiculous. Who are these people? My gosh, guys, who are these people? All right. Give me just a few more for Cancer's person and what's going on. This is a person that really just doesn't want to take responsibility. You know, one of the hardest things for a person can do, um, one of the hardest things for a person to do sometimes is to take a good hard look at themselves and their own actions. And I feel like that's what this is. Your person really doesn't want to. You know? But until they confront this, all their actions or whatever pattern this is, whatever the issue is, they're going to keep having the problem. You know what I mean? It'll never end. Yeah. Look. At the thoughts of all of this, especially you rising and them falling here, this is one of the things that's on their mind the most. And I mean, this person could spend hours, and I mean hours, every day, doing nothing but losing money, watching you. It's ridiculous, but that, you know, but it takes them a really super long time to even prepare to come in and make you an offer of stability, you know? And even, even when they get there, when, even when they start be, being able to make you an offer of stability, they still may not know what they're doing. This dude's trying to slice a banana. He's not even looking at what he's cutting. And it's to, to be served with a steak dinner? What the heck kind of crap is this? You know what I mean? And it's too slow moving. This, this person doesn't even know what they're doing. I mean, they didn't know what they were losing. You know, now they do. Now they do, but then they blame you for it. What the crap? Oh, what is this? Yeah, and they're disappointed because their world is a mess. You know? Well, maybe if they didn't pick up a rock and shatter their own stuff, it wouldn't be messy. You know what I mean? They're, they're in a lot of disappointment here. They're, you know, and they can't stop thinking about it. This person is a mess. You know, it's, a, it's, it's bad, it's a mess. Okay. Yuck. Who is this? Is this your person? All right. Give me just a couple more. Yeah, Valor. You know, this person has to, they have to face the music in order to have some kind of victory here. They've got to do the right thing. They've got to be brave. I don't know what flipped upside down in my deck. There it is. Yeah, they got to be brave because they're dealing with the high priestess here. That would be you, Cancer. <laughs> and you're, you know, you're on a spiritual journey. So, and you're very intuitive. Your person is in trouble. You know, the universe speaks here. Um, this is a completion card, but it's a graduation card to me. It comes with a great deal of effort. You, Cancer, have worked on yourself this whole time. You, you leveled up, and now you're taking that sweet butt of yours and these sparkly platform heels, 
and you're you're moving and shaking right into the the new cycle that's going to be super abundant for you it's already like you know got gold all over it is what it looks like to me and you're keeping the past where it belongs in the past that's what I feel you want you want the past in the past okay and I feel like that's you kind of keeping everyone that needs to stay behind like at arm's length or you're like pushing them back like no more we're done I'm moving on up moving on up to the side some of you are moving away like a way away you know because it's just your time now and you you know you've you've learned your lessons from the last cycle this was a long crappy cycle for you okay and you've learned from it and you've taken those lessons with you into the new cycle and you're just like I mean look you're golden you've got you've got gold all you're covered in gold you're gonna be very abundant in the new cycle and you know exactly you know you're headed straight for it okay give me one more card for cancer late night I was expecting a, 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 more, a funner read. Funner. Everyone makes fun of me for saying funner. I've been saying funner for like the last, I don't know, 15 years. <laughs> because it's funner to say funner than more fun. Let's see. Yeah. Your person's in a crossroads still. You know, you're just done with this. You're done with that energy. You're like, no, stay back. You're, you're, you're just not going to waste your time um, on people who don't know what they want. Okay? That's what I'm getting. And I feel like your person didn't know what they want until now. But, you know, now they kind of feel stuck. And all they can do is watch you with envy. I, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's getting a bit ridiculous. That's I think that's what most cancers are saying at this point. It's like, you know what? You stay down there then cuz I'm I'm moving forward. Yep. You stay down there in that last cycle then where wherever you want to be, I'm moving forward. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and it hurts, you know. I, I think it hurts everybody really all around, but it's going to hurt your person more. This is, they're going to suffer um, heart trauma, I think, or some kind of physical. I got that earlier today, too, this heart trouble. You know, that stress and everything that can really hurt somebody. You know what I mean? I also think it's time to put these swords down and get into a, you know, before somebody starts feeling some kind of um, health issue from this because it gets to the point where, you know, the swords have to be put down for at least a little while. But yeah, I look at this depiction of this Six of Swords and I'm like, hmm. I don't like the way it's piercing this person's heart. And then we've got worry in here with uh, the doctor pointing at the heart. We got that earlier, you guys. I'm wondering if somebody's going to start having some heart trouble here from the stress. I, I got that exact same thing earlier. Oh boy. All right. Well, give me one more card for cancer and then I'll let you guys off the hook. Okay. <laughs> one more card for cancer and their person. Well, cancer's person. What's going on with cancer's person? Yeah, I was hoping to have more fun. Guys. 
wasn't very fun though. I guess it's, you know, I don't know. I think I'm getting tired. <sighs> yeah, this is you, Queen of Wands. Like I said, you're not going, her MO is not wasting any more time or allowing anyone to play any games with you. That is the Queen of Wands MO. You know, I feel like you could be in the public eye. We've got the public defender out here, but you're really just going to defend yourself. It's much like this. The activist, a pub, the, the, an activist is kind of a public defender. Okay? You've got a voice. You're going to use it. You've got an opinion. You're going to state it. You know, if, if anybody comes towards you, they, they have to be mindful that you're not going to keep your mouth shut. And um, you're not going to be a pushover for anybody either. You know, that's just how it is. You've got a lot to say and you can easily defend yourself. Look how poised you are. You're ready. You're ready to defend yourself. You know, but here's the thing though. You've got other passions going on. You've got a whole new cycle. That's it. This is, a, this is if somebody were to approach you, they had better not waste your time or play any games. They cannot do that. Not with the Queen of Wands. You are not going to deal with it. You know, yeah. You'll say, get, get thee behind me, Satan. Yep. Cancers, I love you, but oh my gosh, I'm all of a sudden, I'm just like really super tired. So, huh. so guys, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. I might even load this um, a little later. I'm really feeling like, oof. So anyway, I love you all so much though. I love you. And I wanted to give you a little late night, just a quick love energy update for your person, you know have a little fun so anyway i hope this resonated with you and i hope you liked it cancers i love you all so much take care of you okay and peace out